Samsung's One UI 8.5 is breaking all limits. Leaks reveal bold new design, smarter AI tools, and a huge cloud backup shift. Samsung is gearing up to roll out One UI 8.5, and while it's not official yet, leaks and early screenshots are already teasing some major upgrades. Built on Android 16, this update could unlock more controls, smarter AI features, and even a massive change in how gallery backups work on Galaxy devices. A fully customizable quick panel. One UI 8.5 may completely revamp the control panel, also known as quick settings. Currently, users can only move certain toggles like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or flashlight. But this time, you might be able to rearrange everything, hide sections you don't need, and personalize the layout fully. Leaked screenshots even show Wi-Fi and Bluetooth tiles missing, suggesting users will have total freedom to choose web peers. If true, this would be Samsung's biggest quick panel redesign ever, giving Galaxy owners unmatched customization. Smarter AI features coming. Samsung is reportedly injecting fresh AI features into One UI 8.5 to make devices more powerful and efficient. These tools are designed to save time and simplify daily tasks. Here are some highlights. Social Composer. Auto writes product reviews and creates social media captions. Meeting Assist translates speech and meetings or text displayed on screens. Touch Assistant makes on-screen text easier to process for reading. Smart Clipboard suggests actions like summarizing or translating copied text. End of OneDrive Sync For years, Samsung relied on Microsoft OneDrive for gallery backups. But One UI 8.5 could change that. A leaked in-app message reads, Sync with OneDrive ending soon. This suggests Samsung may ditch OneDrive in favor of its own cloud backup service. If you currently save photos to OneDrive, you may need to switch once Samsung transitions to its new system. No official timeline has been revealed yet. With One UI 8.5, Samsung looks set to deliver more control, next-gen AI tools, and big changes in cloud services. Some upgrades sound exciting, like the fully customizable quick panel, while others, such as the OneDrive removal, might divide users. The full story will unfold once Samsung makes it official. Stay tuned for updates. And that's everything. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech updates just like this. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these new design changes, so make sure to drop a comment below. That's all for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.